Hello everyone. Now again I am in front of you with the new method, long division method and the most useful method. Why the previous methods means repeated subtraction method and prime factorization method. Repeated subtraction method is too much lengthy. Easy but lengthy. And as comparatively the prime factorization is less lengthy but that also lengthy method. Okay, for the large numbers, this long division method is very easy, short and sweet method, but we have to follow few steps. So you guys listen, students listen properly. I am going to explain you this method with the help of this example. Now you see, if I want to find out the square root of 5476, okay. We are talking about the perfect square numbers. So this is the perfect square number. First of all, we'll start to make periods from this side. Two to pairs we'll make. Maybe suppose five digits are there, like your digits one, two, one, one, three. Digits are five, then also at last one digit can also be left. So we'll start from this one side pair. We'll start to make the pairs. Okay. These pairs we are calling period. Okay. Now we will come to the leftmost period. The second step. Okay. Already we have made periods. Now we will think about this number. This period. First period. 54. Which number square we can subtract from this? 1 square 1 we can subtract. 2 square 4 also we can subtract. 4 square 16 also we can subtract. 3 square 9 also we can subtract 5 square 25 also we can subtract from this number and 6 square 36 also 7 square 49 also we can subtract 8 square 64 we cannot subtract from this 54 which most number square we can subtract from this 7 so we will write here 7 and here also we will write 7 2 times this is the method. Method I'm telling you, you note down the method. Means why 7 only? 7 is the number whose square we can subtract, highest number. Whose square we can subtract from the 54. 8 square 64 we cannot subtract from this 54. Now, square of 7 is 49. We will write here and again this line. Now we will subtract 49 from this. We will get 5. This is the first part of this method, first step of this method. Now the second step, we will double this number here, 14. Okay, and we will note down the next pair. No need to make this arrow and next pair we will note down in the next step. So first step, the number whose square, highest number whose square we can subtract from the first period. Now. We will say in second step we will double the number and we will note down the next period. Now number is 576. Now it's very means uh, we can say the method means based on your mind level. How how is your thinking? Okay. So one and four. What number we should place here with this and we will multiply with the same number to get 576 like I think you are not getting but I am telling you this see I am writing here 1 and multiplying 1 141 will come okay now 141 I am placing here 2 with the 14 and multiplying by 2 so 4 and 8 and 2 then also 576 is not coming then again 1 with 14 I am adding 3 and multiplying by 3 9 12 429 no then also not coming with 14 I am placing here 4 and multiplying by 4 also 16 1 16 and 17 and 1 4 and 5 means what number we should place here to get 576 4 so 4 will come here that number is 4 so when we multiply by 4, that time we will get 576 and we will subtract, then 0 will come, no number will come. So, 
the square root of this number is 74. This is the long division method. Square root is 74. This is the algorithm type process means step-wise process you have to follow all the steps. Means first you have to make periods and then afterwards you have to think about the number which we can subtract from the first period and then afterwards what number we should place with this number to get this part. So in this way you have to think. Solve the question based on this and definitely if you will be habitual this method all the question you will solve by this method only. So guys you solve the question. Now again one more example on this long division method 529. So the method is same for each and every number 529. First we will start to make the period from this side 1. Now this 1 is left. So in this period only one digit is there. Now the method is same for all the type of questions okay here now from the five this first period which number square we can subtract which highest number square we can subtract one square one we can subtract two square four we can subtract three square nine nine we cannot subtract so last two numbers two square four is we can subtract so whose square two square so here we'll write and here also we will write same number now the square of two 4 we will write we can subtract now 1 is left now what we will do the next step we will double this number 4 we will note down this period 129 now we will think that what should we will place here with this 4 to get 129 so if I will write 1 and multiply by 1 then 41 will come so no need to think about this number if I place 2 here and multiply by 2, then 84 will come, then also no need to think. If I write 3 here, place 3 here and multiply by 3, then 9 and 12. It means 129 is coming and we need also 129 only. So what will come here? 3 will come here and 3 will also come here. So it we will multiply by 3. Then 129 will come, subtract, nothing will be left or we can say 0 will come, we can also say 0 will come. So the square root of 529 is 23. This method is long division method, in question also you have to show this part. In prime factorization method, factorization one part also you have to show in your notebook and this part in long division you have to show in your fair part, not in rough part. This part will be in rough only. Like if you will see multiply by 1, 2, 3, 4. So note down this example. Now see this question. Find the biggest 4 digit number which is a perfect square. So biggest 4 digit number is 9, 9, 9 and 9. This is the biggest four digit number. The biggest four digit number. Now find the biggest four digit number which is a perfect square. Just now I am hiding this part. Perfect square number. I am telling you about the biggest four digit number is this 4 times 9. Now you focus on this. 4 times 9 is coming. This is biggest four digit square only four digit number this also like this question we can also solve with the help of this long division method means biggest three digit lowest and biggest five digit number so the same way we will use method first we will start to make periods two periods now which number square we can subtract I guess means 9 square is 81 we can subtract and 10 square 10 square 100 we cannot subtract from this so the highest number is 9 9 will write here and the square of 9 81 subtract then what will come here 8 1 now double of this 18 and next pair we will note down here now what number we should place here to get this 1899 or 
if we are not getting exactly 1899 so the number highest number which we can subtract from this so what will be that number we will check by like we will place one and multiply by one then definitely you know so i am taking you at 5 now you think about this so it will come like uh, 900 and something so multiply 5 to coming 900 and something so you don't think so means whenever you will solve the question so after 5 6 questions you will get to know what number we should place approximate idea you will get so i am placing here 9 directly let me check 9 9 is 81 72 0 8 9 and 17 now 10 we, can, we will not place here if we place 10 then the number will be greater than this so 1 7 means what will place here 8 so 8 will come here and 1 7 0 1 we will subtract from this now 8 9 1 198 this 198 no, part is extra we can say remainder so if you subtract from this 9999 this 198 then you will get the number perfect square means this part will subtract from this number so the next step of this question whatever remainder we are getting that remainder will subtract 999 minus 198 so we'll get 1089 this number is perfect square number find the biggest four digit number biggest four digit number is and is a perfect square number is this so this number is biggest four digit perfect square number you take biggest number and do use this long division method and finally whatever remainder you are getting that remainder you subtract from that biggest number and then finally you will get that biggest perfect square number this is the method by with the help of this method you can solve the questions okay students do practice regularly bye